Welcome to our lecture online. Well, in the previous video, we worked out this problem and we were able to find the solution by using the conservation of energy equation. But can we do this quicker? We have four possible answers. Are we able to eliminate some of them very quickly and draw a conclusion as to which would be the right answer without actually working that out the way we did on the previous video? And the answer is yes, there is. But you have to know this following thing. When you have an object, that starts at a certain height h, so let's say that we're at a certain height h like this, and we allow the object to fall down, then we can say that the velocity that we'll have at the bottom, the velocity, is going to be equal to the square root of 2gh. Now, if we solve this equation for h, we can then say that h is equal to v squared divided by 2g. Now, of course, if we're dealing with an incline and we want to find d, then of course we can say that d is equal to v squared divided by 2g times the sine of theta. That's why all these answers are 1 over g sine theta in the denominator. But notice we have v squares everywhere, g sine theta. The only thing that differs is the coefficient. Now notice that if we do not take into account the the rotational kinetic energy it will go a certain height or a certain distance and what we end up with is we end up with a one-half v squared g sine theta. Now when we, t when we take into account the rotational kinetic energy it will actually go higher so in no way should the answer be this or less that is not a possible answer it has to be greater than that. So here we see that we have one-fifth v squared g sine theta, which is not possibly the answer, so we can get rid of that. And here we have two-fifths, it should be at least one-half. So this cannot be a possible answer either, so immediately we've eliminated two of the answers. Now what we have left is 10 over 7, or 7 over 10. Now, how big can the rotational kinetic energy term be? Remember, the kinetic energy translational is one-half mv squared and the kinetic energy rotational is one half i omega squared but then if we convert i for what it is and so the maximum i you can get is if all the mass is at the edge of the rotating object so for example if we had a hollow cylinder then that would be one half times one half m r squared and omega squared would become v squared over uh, r squared, the r's would cancel out and we end up with one quarter mv squared. So the maximum amount of energy the rotational kinetic energy can add is half the translational kinetic energy. In other words, that the total can never be twice what we get out of the translational kinetic energy by itself. Since this is what we get out of the translational kinetic energy, either this or this, we talk about height or distance, notice it cannot be twice that or greater. Which answer is more than twice as much? This is more than twice as much. It can never be that much, so this is therefore eliminated, and therefore this can be the only possible answer. So by simply taking advantage of our knowledge, that v equals the square root of the 2gh for a falling object when we have height converted to velocity or velocity converted to height. So the height will be v squared over 2g. With the incline, we get the sine theta in the denominator. And then notice that one half v squared g sine theta belongs to the kinetic energy translational energy only. If we then add the rotational kinetic energy, it can only be one, one half of this. So we can only have three quarters of this energy maximum with kinetic energy translational plus kinetic, kin kinetic energy rotational added together. Since this answer is bigger than the largest it can be when we add these two together, that can also not be a possible answer. So this is the only possible answer that is reasonable without actually working it out. And that is how it's done in a quick fashion. You talk so much. <laughs> yeah, well, if you know all the explanation I give you, just simply, this is how you do it, you could probably do it about half the time. <laughs> all right. 